As you can see, the face is like halfway completed. This is day seven. This is the Stay Shining Lip Oil. I've been using this like every day because I need like a lip gloss. So I was like, I'm going to use this. So this is that. I like it. It's cooling. It's not plumping, but it's cooling. So it's cool for real. Day one is the P. Louise Can I Have a Taste eyeshadow palette. And it has a highlighter in there. So we're going to come back to that. It comes with a brush. I have the P. Louise base in the shade Rimmer 5. I had this for a while, honestly. So I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay. I'm going to squeeze them out on this. Um, this little palette I got from Shein a while ago. I lost it and I found it. So yeah. Might as well use it. I really wish the um the advent calendar would have came with a, with a base. Honestly, I thought that was more like common sense. But maybe she like, everybody should already have my base. So the eyeshadow palette does come with the mirror. Y'all can see it come with the mirror. So I'm going to take off the thing. But honestly, like, with the gingerbread in front of it, it's kind of like redundant. <laughs> The taste is like blocking a mirror I don't like that like I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror but I'm just seeing the taste part it's like uh so one side of the brush is for like packing and the other side is for blending I'm gonna use the ColourPop E1 brush and I'm gonna go into this like coral shade right here this one and I'm gonna pack that into my crease this is also my first time trying P. Louise shadows. Like I'm saying, like the taste part, it literally takes away from the, um, from the mirror. Like I gotta keep looking in the corner. Take the brush that comes with the brown. This one. I could go in with this one. Wait. I could go in with this one, but I don't want to. I want to go deeper. I really cannot see, like, with this mirror, I really cannot see. Um, I'm going to take this Morphe R38 and just... Make sure there's no harsh line in between these two. Just lightly blend it. Next, I'm going to go back in with the P. Louise brush on the same side. And I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette. This one right here. This dark brown. No, I'm literally, I'm going to focus it right here on the outer part. I'm not dragging it. I'm going to just keep it right here. Next, I'm going to take this other side of the P. Louise brush, the clean side. And I'm just going to lightly feather that into the shades we were already using. I'm going to go in with this, like, cranberry shimmer shade. And I'm using this Ofra Flawless Face Brush in 104. Basically like a flat eyeshadow brush. Ooh, this is like foil texture. This is giving the most kickback. The mattes wasn't giving that much kickback. You see? Okay. I'm See, these are my favorite colors to do like eyeshadow looks with i love like a fall like vampire color to blend out that harsh line y'all blend out the harsh line just take the brush i was using earlier the same side you don't gotta add more just go back and forth 
at the edge and there's no fallout on my face I'm gonna take the same brush the color pop brush and this first shade I use just sweep that under this palette is really cute I mean, the mirror is not practical but it's really cute um so that was day one day two is sugar spice and everything nice it is a highlighter palette so that palette comes with the highlighter and this is also a highlighter palette okay so all i did was put some mascara on so now onto the face the um bronzer palette i'm not I, honestly y'all mixed up i don't know the days so it does does come with the mirror and there's no writing so you can see your whole face um me personally i like to use this elf pointed powder blush powder brush for contour so this is bronzer i'm gonna go in with the darkest shade of the palette I do like like that it's like gingerbread cutouts however I do feel like it's taken away from the product we're gonna go in and see let me take this this thing off this mirror I can look good yeah I'm feeling like it's looking good I'm feeling like I could cut underneath of it but I'm not going to <laughs> I feel like if you're a makeup artist, you, this is going to be perfect for you, for you and your clients. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Complexion Duo, this side. And uh, which shade should I go in? I did say I wanted to try this one. I think, I mean, this one. I think I'm going to mix this one and, and I think I'm going to mix this one right here mixed with this one. So the bottom left and the top right. Oh, it looked pigmented. Wait, I do have a liquid blush. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I definitely forgot about that. The cheek of it. The cheek of it liquid blush. And the shade Baked Biscuit. I forgot about it. I love the way this looks, but I'm not using that part. I'm going to squeeze some out on this flat foundation brush. And I'm gonna go in. Oh, wait! When I saw it online, it was not that pigmented. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like you really gotta build this up. From what I seen, you really gotta build it up online. You can see it like. I'm like confused like you can kind of see it and you kind of can't <laughs> honestly I think I'm gonna just use the top right the holiday palette is sugar and spice and everything nice so it opens like this it's very bulky use this shade right here you know this tiktok actually went viral on this girl applying highlighter and, and it's like literally if you've been doing makeup for a while it's literally all the places like everybody been putting highlighter so i'm like why are y'all like so like oh my gosh this is something new when it's really not so i first go in with a brown lip liner of course this lip palette it's in the shape of hearts and it comes with a brush. I think I'm going to first go in with this shade right here. This one. Oh, I'm touching it. See how dark that is. It would feel very creamy. Oh, it's creamy and it's pigmented. The shades are running very cool. Like the first shade I put on, it don't look cool. It look more like a neutral, but it's running very cool. Yeah. 
honestly I could add a little bit of um, gloss to it I mean stick I'm gonna use this pink one in the middle add a little bit of color to the middle of my lips yeah okay so the last thing in here oh see I, I, I done missed two things honestly I feel like they could have replaced these two things with something else this one is a body glow um it's like a highlight shade I'm gonna rub it on my neck yes. I don't like the way I don't really like the texture of it and the last thing was a keep it creamy crayon trio which I guess you use for like your eyeshadow remember earlier when i said they should have included the p louise base and type of thing they couldn't include it because they don't know people from all different shades buy it so if she would have just included a white one everybody would have been like but yeah back to the crayons i feel like they could have put some other different type of thing like who gives a fuck about these crayons like i don't forget all about them Okay, this one is baked to perfection. That's actually a pretty shade. This one is whipped frosting. It's very creamy. My honest opinion, do I think the mini advent calendar by P. Louise is worth it? For, it, it costs about $200. If you're a makeup artist, yes. But if you just do makeup on yourself, it shades like in the bronzer palette. It shades that you that don't even fit your that won't fit your skin tone. It might be too dark, or in my instance, too light. And yeah, I can use them to set under my eye. But it's like I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it was worth two hundred. I feel like the price should have been lower. I don't think the price. I don't think it's worth two hundred. And I feel like the like they just threw stuff in there. Like they threw. I like the body scrub. I really love the body scrub, so I like that one. But like the crayons and the um, this is like no. And then it's like a full size one too. And it's like how often are you gonna use this? Like no. But I like that they included a full size eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette comes with a brush. And it comes with a highlighter. So I really like this palette. I would really recommend this palette to anyone. Because it's really good. Like look at my eyes. Like it blended. I, you barely have to do anything. And it blended really well. Um, The lips palette. I recommend that as well. I recommend everything. Except for the last two. This lip oil. I recommend. If you need a lip oil, yeah. It's not the most hydrating, but I like it. Um, what else? The bronzer palette, I like it. I think it bronzed me. Um, I, I just wouldn't make it in the shape of the gingerbread because that cuts out product. I wouldn't make it the same shape as the blush. The blush right here. It should have been the same shape because this is two different weights. Um, the cream blush, the cheek of it, they this really went popular and I really wanted to try it, but you definitely gotta build it up. I feel like this will be perfect if you do natural looks, like you barely put on foundation, you barely put on concealer. This will be perfect because like it's very lightweight, blendable, and buildable. Like it's really buildable. That's one thing I noticed. It go on like pigmented, but you, as you blend it out, it shears out and blends, and it's buildable. And this one, sugar and spice. I mean, it's a highlighter. I'm highlighting. It look good. I really like this purple one too, but 
people most people wouldn't wear this outside but i think it's cool. but yeah um that is my review on the p louise mini advent calendar of 2023 if you have any questions down below if you have any questions comment them down below i'm gonna answer them if you feel like I, I could have did this better or you think I got it. If you have anything to recommend, comment that down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And give this video a thumbs up. Check out my latest video. Bye-bye.